Last weekend, we kicked off our new series, Owning It. And after the first weekend, I am pumped for the rest of the series. If you missed it, please go back and watch it on Mech's website, mechlumber.org, Mech's YouTube channel, or listen to it on the Mech app. And then be sure to join us this weekend in person or online for the next one. What we addressed this past weekend was owning the discipline of your children. Now, before you tune out because you don't have kids or you're past that stage with grown kids, I can tell you firsthand that I learned so much about parenting before having kids. Did I judge others harshly who had kids when I had none to worry about myself? Absolutely. But I was also able to glean so much from the people around me who had kids. I got to see what worked, what didn't work, and it was a real gift. And if your kids are grown, I will also be the first to tell you as a mom of five that it truly takes a village. And as a grandparent, aunt, uncle, best friend, nanny, daycare worker, neighbor, whatever role you serve, you are needed in that village. So while discipline is primarily the responsibility of the parents, it is exhausting and it takes such intentionality that a support system is vital. Now, I was an aunt before I was a mom, and being an aunt is truly the best job in the world. You get to be fun, you get to give treats, you get to spell the kids, you get to keep them up late, and then when they get too rowdy, you peace out. You also get to be a friend to them. And now that I'm a parent, though, I have a much deeper understanding of what Pastor Jim talked about, that as parents, the goal is not for your child to always like you, but rather for your child to always respect you. It's a mind shift. It's a bigger responsibility. It all falls on you. But God would not have entrusted those little nuggets to you if you were not capable of fulfilling that responsibility. And you are capable. The first thing you have to do, though, is own it. If you don't discipline your child showing that you care what kind of human they become, no one else will. At least not the way that they should, to train them in the way that they should go. Because no one loves your child like you do. Decide today to own the loving discipline of your children and ask God to give you the strength to do it.